some fun. We start with the star ingredient challenge. That's right. Every uh, single week we put ourselves to a challenge and I'm challenging this lady once again. Chef Cheryl Ann Short Charles is in the building. She's back inside of the star ingredient challenge because she just loves to bake. Yes, I She do. loves to bake. <laughs> the star ingredient challenge this morning is brought to you by the folks at Anchor. We were challenged not only with apples, but we must now incorporate Anchor powdered milk. Yes. So, I am starting for Chef. We did yes. two wonderful dishes. Let me just say that mine is a roasted powdered milk bunt cake. Mm. We got fancy. I got fancy today. <laughs> quick, quick secret. I got some help. <laughs> I got some help. I got some help. Uh, I, I found so I can win both yeah. of them. <laughs> I found the recipe and I went to my team. I said, guys, how am I executing this? And they helped me. So you got to follow this recipe and try this one at home. And Cheryl will tell you what she did there. Mm -hmm. I did a salted caramel apple tart. Because she's showing off. She's showing yes. off. Let's yeah, get started. Against Joel, you know, so. <laughs> Let's get started. Chef, you're going to help me first. Right. I am going to put this fire on. All I want here is the first process mm -hmm. is to take the powdered milk in its natural form mm -hmm. and put it on the stove mm -hmm. till almost toast it. Right. Roast it. Yeah. Why, it why are you toasting it? <laughs> So she's asking me hard questions right away. But what I found, uh, uh -huh. when, when, when we started, when I saw the recipe, when we started doing it, right. so I, got, I got worried. I said, you know, what, what will happen with this? Mm -hmm, I, mean, mm -hmm. I never toasted or, or roasted powdered milk before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it caramelized. It, it got intense. You started to smell right. the intensity and the sweetness. It got a little more sweeter. Right. So I think it was perfect now to add to a cake. Mm -hmm. and intensify the flavor of the cake. Okay, nice. How was that answer? Very nice. It, yeah. sounds good. it sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds yeah, good. she gets me a little You already script right. Yeah, I already script right. <laughs> but that's what happened, guys. I tried this recipe, uh, and, and, and that's what happened. When it toasts up, and the drink takes a couple of minutes, so just bear with me, and you will see it changing color in just a bit. While this is happening, and we'll, take a, we'll, keep, we'll keep our eyes on it, Chef, mm -hmm. I want to start beating. I have two eggs here right. and a little dash of uh, vanilla essence. Okay. And I want to beat this until it gets frothy. All right, okay. That's what the recipe said. I, uh, you know I follow recipes, guys. So I, very well, very I follow well, recipes. Very well. I, I, I Sometimes. Research. Sometimes. <laughs> I research recipes and I follow recipes. So I beat this. Mm -hmm. Frothy enough? Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, so like a beaten pan, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Because I'm seeing the fraud coming through now, yeah, so it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's big. Yeah? yeah? I'm just going to keep watching this. Now, important to watch this, guys, because you don't want it to burn. burn. If mm -hmm. it burns, you're going to taste the burnt flavor yeah, in your in cake. cake. And you don't want that. So you really just kind of need to just to keep stirring, because it, it, it will start browning yeah, to the base. I'm seeing it actually starting to starting brown. Starting to brown on the base. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so keep stirring. I'm seeing it starting to brown. Keep stirring. Yeah. And then it releases all the oils as well, so... I, when, I, I, got, I got stuck from the time they took, what am I going to do with yeah. powdered milk? I really, I really got stuck, and that's really the challenge of the star ingredient. Chef, can I just add some oil? Right. I'm adding a cup of oil. This is vegetable oil, guys. You can't add milk to the, 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 the oil kind of replaces the, the cream. The, the oil will replace the fat, which is the, the butter, butter. The butter, the cream, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and a, and a half cup of water. water. And a half okay. cup of water. So you need to stir. You so want need me to, to stir, stir for you while you um. No, can you beat for me? Oh, yes. I, I knew you were going to give me <laughs> the hard me? thing, you know. So that right. So it's happening here, guys. It's right. happening. You see, if, if you mm -hmm. look, you're going to see the little brown specks. It's, it's starting to caramelize and starting right. to toast up. And you should smell what Chef and I are smelling here. Because oh. you're now smelling the intensity of the powdered milk coming together. It's getting nice and sweet. Oh. Still, still there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It, it gets wrong. So, what else goes into this? So, in there, chef, mm -hmm. I know we could, so we got to add in all the dry mm -hmm. to the wet. Mm -hmm. So, this is a flour, right? And some baking powder, just a little baking powder. You can get the recipe on judycooks.com, guys, all the measurements there, right? And you add that to there and start, start getting the dry into the wet. So, I'm taking it off the flame just a bit because okay. it's looking good, chef. I'm smelling it. This is looking good. Mm -hmm. What else goes inside of here? And in there now... This I, is my challenge or yours? 
you are helping me. Okay. I will help you. you I'm your sous chef. <laughs> I don't often get like to call it. you my sous chef. Oh, well, I like I that. You know, I, like. This is, I may know. like it too much, you know, so be careful. So what's this? The icing sugar? Icing sugar. Also so, using so icing sugar instead of the normal granite sugar. Instead of normal granite sugar. Follow the recipe, as I said, and, okay. and, and we did, so a, we we did a couple of tweaks. All in, here? All, all in there. A cup, a cup goes in there. All right. So I'm taking up the fire now because I think this is yeah. good. Yeah. And when we add in the apples? Last. The star ingredient goes in last because I want to add the shooting star ingredient, which is my powdered, powdered milk. milk. So guys, oh. roasting roasting the anchor powdered milk, just fantastic. If you smell what we are smelling here, this cake will be full of flavor with this anchor powdered milk. So I'm just adding the anchor powdered milk straight into my mixture. Mm -hmm. Chef is gonna wake that up next. <laughs> Chef, Chef. Fine, she's doing too much work. Yes, yes. So I, I am going to move yes. some of these. So I am going to mix this up in here. And to this now, chef, I mm -hmm. have a little cinnamon powder dusted on some apples. apples. I, chopped, I chopped up my apples. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you chop it up as fine as you want, but I, when I bite into the cake, you like to taste I like, a little. I like yes. to get the, the, the bite of the apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to get the bite of the apple. So you add the apples straight, straight to the mixture, mm -hmm. and you stir, and you get it all. You get the, the batter all incorporated there. Coating the you, apples. Coating the I apples, yeah. So. Now, as I said, you can, you can do the apples finer if you wish, uh, right. a finer chop. But as I said, all your preference. You, you, right. you put your twist on it. So I see I have a fancy thing. So chef, chef, chef lent me this. Yes. <laughs> chef lent me that. Um, so we're going to make some mini. So we're just going to try to spoon this out. Right. You're going to okay. help me. Right. Um, do I, I, I'm just spooning this here. Yeah. And just allow it to flow in there, right? Right. That's good? I think so. Because it will rise a bit. It will rise a little bit. So it will right. rise a bit. Right. So you see, you get some apples in there. Right. Another one. So let me help you here. Because it seems like you really need a yeah, I need, today. I need a sous chef today. Need you know bacon is not by 40. So when I had to do powdered milk yeah. and apple cake, I said, how am I doing Going this? to do this. But you know what, chef? Pressure. I actually enjoy the process. And it's easy. Yes. Yeah. It's very easy. Bacon intimidated me a lot, guys. Um, you know I follow recipes on this show. Yeah. And bacon intimidated me a lot. But, but people, if Joel could do it, <laughs> you could do it too. No matter how much of a novice you are. Try the recipe, guys. Right. It's on tradicals.com. So this bakes in the oven. Yeah, bakes in the oven. Long? Um, based on the recipe, uh, instead of following the recipe, 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to okay. 30 minutes. And it goes in the oven. You can, you can put this in a, in a baking tin if you so desire as well. Yes, you I, can I put guess. It. Can yeah. you open the oven for me, please? Sure. Thank you very much. It goes there. Right. Yeah. Okay. And bakes away. And guys, when it comes out, you saw that fancy thing, Chef. Chef, what do you call that? A bunt, a mini bunt? Mm -hmm. Pan. A mini, mini bunt pan. It flips out and you get a lovely design on it. But I said, if you don't have a fancy mini bunt, I have a chef, I have chef friends. So they, <laughs> so they have fancy things sometimes they give to me. But you can put it in a, in a simple pan. Mm -hmm. Cupcake pan. Cupcake pan. I'm sure it will go lovely, lovely as a big that. six inch or eight That's inch right. pan. That's right. Just before Chef starts her, her, her dish, this here, and I want you, she helped me with this as well. This is condensed milk. Yes. But not out of the can. No. We made our condensed we milk. We made our own condensed milk. Yes. Tell me about, t t t tell well, me about it. We're using the um, full cream, the anchor full cream powder milk. I used powder milk, icing and sugar. Again, another anchor product we used was the butter mm -hmm. and some hot water and put it together in a blender. Now, if you don't, if you don't have a blender, you could put it in a mixer, food processor, and whip it until it all combined. I put a little touch of vanilla essence in it. Now, the nice thing about making your own, you could flavor it up however you, could you want. You could flavor your condiments more. Right, so I put a little um, vanilla essence in it. Nice. Mm, condensed milk. Exactly. Made from anchor powdered milk. Yes. Made from anchor powdered milk. Mm -hmm. And you're good to go. You're good to go. Let's get, what are you doing with the first this morning? Chef? Right. So I made the salted caramel apple tart. Mm. Now all of it has the anchor powder milk in it. In the dough, right. I have the anchor the butter, right? Um, powder milk, flour, and one egg. And you whip that until you get a smooth dough. And I form them into bowls. Is it, is it a tough dough? No, no, no. no, no, no. It's very soft, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And 
I have some these cute little tartlet shells. Now, if you don't have tartlet shells, you could use muffin tins as well. There right. are some shallow ones that you could use. Right. Right? right and we just put them in so seeing as how you had me working you will work too so we're flattening it flattening right so you it, just it take your fingers and you press them in right right now don't worry if it it will come we want it thinner Joel. Thin. so put your fingers down so inside it you might have to use one finger because you're <laughs> I didn't probably like, also you want double it thin, nice. thin, very yes, thin. Yes, yeah. Right, want okay, it thin. got you, got now, you. Even though it comes out to the side, what I normally will do, I'll take a knife. Yeah. And I'm I'll just, just Right, see? okay, I was trying to maintain. No, maintain, you right, don't have to, to do no, all of that. You could just, right, yeah, right, got you, see? so just, right. Why I can even get mine a little thin, I think. Why are you making so much mess? I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Please, thank you. I'll clean it up. Right? So I also made a filling, a cream cheese filling, right. using again the Anchor cream cheese, um, butter, mm -hmm. eggs. What I it also called for um, heavy cream, but instead of using the heavy cream, I used the milk powder, the skim milk powder inside of it. So I just mix it in with some water also to the little skim thickness. Milk powder yes, as well. yes, a skim milk powder for all of those out there who on the healthy strand and they say you know they don't want the full cream too fatty right they have the skim milk powder so i use that instead of the heavy cream right. inside of my mix right and this is it here oh and you whipped it whipped it yeah. until it right. whipped it until it came together mm -hmm. right and uh, so we're going to spoon it in here so while you spoon that in there <laughs> i have two in the oven already baking so, so this really is the, this falls on the base like this nicely. Yes, it falls on that nicely. Right, so you see we have two here. So this already base for how long, Chef? It bake for about 11, um, 11 to 12, 12 minutes. minutes, right? You want to take Pops one out one? It's hot. <laughs> so, I, so with my apples now, outside of what you did, incorporated it inside it, I sauteed it on the stove, like my pan. Where you get this little pan from? Boy, you know how long I have that pan? Serious? It's cute, huh? So you're sorting? So I sorted the apples with a little butter. Right. Right. So you melt the butter. Just to caramelize the apples. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. When you caramelize things, it really it, makes it. It releases, thing. yes. It Because it releases all the sugars and, and stuff inside yeah. of the ingredient. Right. right? <laughs> and you, you, you measure that pan to the apples. To the apples, <laughs> you would think so, eh? But it's, it just happens it just, naturally. Yes, yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> and I had some salted caramel. Right. I made salted already. Caramel, yeah. Now, the nice thing with the salted, I think I put the powdered milk in almost every single thing because you can use you're sure it. You know. <laughs> well, yeah, you, that you is went, what it is. Oh, it's a challenge. Yeah, yeah, you right? went powdered milk crazy. You went this powdered yeah. milk crazy. Powdered milk crazy. Right? What better way to substitute? Right? And we'll drop the caramel inside Straight of there. In there. Straight in there. And let that melt Caramelized away. Caramelized salted caramel. Yes. Apples. Right? You turn it off. You think it's cool now? Yes. You, you feel you, it cool? You tell me. Nah. You, it's not cool? There Chef Hans, over the years, have been, it's totally immune to heat. To heat, yes. yeah. She, yes, get a build-up of heat. Yeah, it's hot. Right? It's hot. So, because those things retain the heat a lot. Yeah. Right? So we're going to spoon some of the apple and caramel. Watch out that gooey goodness. And then we're not done there yet. Have some icing sugar. No, I have a trick with this. You know, normally you put the ice, through the icing sugar inside of there, and it always falls through before you can think. Right. You take the no, you take the the strainer just like this, and you just press it in. Excuse See? me. And we just a little, just a little, just a little. And there you have salted caramel apple tart. This one is hot. Yes, but we have some cool ones over there. I know how you're afraid, you're afraid I mean, of the this heat. One is hot, this one is hot, this one is hot. So I am taking one of these, Chef. Yes. I am taking one of these for you. 
Please, oh, so you have my plate? We'll share. We'll, we'll share. share. We'll share. You would like to share with Major? No. No. Let me, <laughs> let me rest these in the yes. oven by the time. But this is lovely. Two recipes, guys, that you can try. We want to thank the folks at Anka for making it possible. You check out the line of powdered milks. Um, as Chef mentioned, it also comes in a skimmed milk as well. Yes. Um, a skimmed milk, powdered milk, as well as, of I course, the full cream. I need a little more condensed milk. You need more condensed milk? Yeah. I feel it cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little more. Oh, then. my goodness. That's Ooh. enough, Chef. <laughs> That's enough, Chef. That's enough. Can I just take this and give this a good old bite? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs>